Two years ago today, the United States finished pulling out of Afghanistan. The Taliban quickly taking control of the capital city and forcing Afghans seeking freedom to find it outside of their home. Many right here in the state of Utah. Lauren Steinbrecher, join us now live from the state capital. And Lauren, refugees are still arriving from Afghanistan. Yeah, Mike, two years and they are still coming here. The people I talked with today got here just two weeks ago, gathering here at the Capitol and downtown to talk about what's happening back home. Free, free Afghanistan! In the middle of downtown Salt Lake City, a message. Stand with Afghan women! Sent two years to the day since the fall of Afghanistan, <clears throat> since the Taliban takeover. Ban, ban, Taliban! Urging a Taliban takedown and lifting women up. For people like Frozan Hatami, who arrived in Utah from Afghanistan two weeks ago, the message is just as urgent as it was two years ago. We are not allowed to continue education. We are not allowed to work. We are not allowed to like, live a normal life and breathe freely in Afghanistan. The danger for her to live in her home country grew, like it did for Leila Basim and Shamel Tawana Nasiri, who also newly arrived in Utah. They spearheaded resistance movements in Afghanistan, saying the Taliban shot at them, beat them, and attacked them for advocating for women's rights. The living for me in Afghanistan was in was hard. hard and danger and we uh, have no choice and we leave our country. Their movement will continue in Utah. I feel just safe here. All of my thinking, thinking is about the women who are uh, right now fights against the Taliban in the Kabul. Stand with Afghan women! While in the middle of downtown, Frozan can now fight freely and without fear. Whatever you can do, just to stand with us and support Afghan women in Afghanistan. Yeah, and that group protesting today saying they hope that the U.S. government takes action against the Taliban and continues allowing refugees to flee here. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News. Lauren, thank you. KSL Podcast has launched a six-part series exploring what happened to some of the families forced to flee Afghanistan. Hear how they adapted to life here in Utah on Stranger Becomes Neighbor, wherever you listen to podcasts.